When one thinks of racing games to look forward to, Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport immediately come to mind. Thankfully, there's a whole lot more coming up in the near future, whether it's new IPs or familiar franchises. Let's take a look at 15 racing games of 2021 and beyond. Monster Energy Supercross The Official Video Game 4 Monster Energy Supercross The Official Video Game 3 released earlier last year, and it was fine. Nothing too amazing, but definitely not the worst racing game. Still, Milestone is looking to improve on the formula further with a new career mode, which has a new skill tree, the Compound for free roam gameplay with different collectibles and challenges, and an improved track editor. Monster Energy Supercross The Official Video Game 4 is currently slated to release on March 11, 2021 for Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, PC, and Google Stadia. Next, Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport 8, or as it was revealed in July 2020, Forza Motorsport, broke tradition by not releasing in the same year as its announcement. Though captured in-engine, the first trailer is pretty in line with the series' premise of fast cars and a near-obsessive simulation of racing. Now we just have to see if it actually releases this year for Xbox Series X and S and PC. Gran Turismo 7 In comparison, Polyphony Digital wasn't shy about touting Gran Turismo 7's features and gameplay. GT Simulation Mode returns along with driving school, special events, and other classic features. GT Sport Mode and Discover are also being included, and the developer promises 4K 60fps action. Real-time ray tracing is also confirmed, though whether it's at the same resolution and frame rate is unknown. Gran Turismo 7 is slated to release sometime this year for PlayStation 5. Next, Need for Speed Of all the big names coming this year, the next Need for Speed is definitely worth noting. It's the first title to be developed under Criterion Games since Need for Speed Rivals in 2013, and will utilize Frostbite 4 for photorealistic visuals. There isn't much else known, but more details should be coming this year, followed by a possible release in the fall for current gen platforms. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown The first title in the series since Test Drive Ferrari Racing Legends released in 2012. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown was announced in July 2020. It's currently confirmed for PS5 with other platforms yet to be announced and utilizes WRC8's handling and overall framework. With open world gameplay set on an island and a progression system based on social status, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is as mysterious as it is intriguing. Project Cars 4 To say that Project Cars 3 wasn't what fans expected would be an understatement. Slightly Mad Studios seems to be returning to a more simulation-heavy approach in the next entry, with CEO Ian Bell saying it would be the most realistic racing sim ever. Then again, that was said in some deleted tweets that also touted leaves shadowing other leaves and bump-mapped track edges. With EA acquiring Codemasters, which Slightly Mad is a part of, it should be interesting to see how development on the next Project Cars goes. Circuit Superstars Don't let its overhead perspective fool you. Circuit Superstars promises enough sim aspects to go with the intense action. Utilizing a dynamic driving system, the racer offers a variety of different vehicles across various eras and a unique aesthetic. A Steam Early Access release is set for Q1 2021, and we're definitely looking forward to more. Drift 21 Another Early Access racer, which may fully launch this year, is Drift 21. Developed by ECC Games SA and published by 505 Games, it aims to be the definitive title for fans of drifting. It currently offers more than 750 parts to customize one's vehicle, a practice mode, and numerous challenges set in Japan's Ibisu circuits. Multiplayer is also currently available, and the full game will offer even more cars and tracks to race on. Dangerous Driving 2 Three Fields Entertainment announced that Dangerous Driving 2 would release in Holiday 2020, but that date has currently lapsed with no update. 2021 is looking more likely, and with the integration of a dynamic open world along with the signature emergent crash mechanics, the sequel could be just what Burnout Paradise fans are looking for. It's currently in development for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch. F1 2021 Another project that we're interested in seeing the results of, following EA acquiring Codemasters, is F1 2021. While the latter hasn't announced its development, it seems all but a given. F1 2020 offered a number of new additions like My Team Mode and varying season lengths, so we're keen to see what the sequel brings to the table. Drag You could be forgiven for not knowing about Arantes Games' Drag, 
Inspired by Richard Burns' rally and spin tires, it's all about using the slipstream to tail other racers and utilize the resulting boost to overtake them. With some highly realistic physics, 24 different challenges in single player and support for multiplayer, drag is worth keeping an eye on. It's currently in early access on Steam and is expected to be out by 2022 at the latest. GTR 3 Remember Simbin Studios GTR 3? Well, there hasn't been much information on its release date, but it still looks good. Utilizing Unreal Engine 4, it's stated to have a realistic damage model, dynamic weather system, day to night transitions, and much more. With development apparently still ongoing for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, perhaps this year will be when it finally releases. Riders Republic Ubisoft's sports racing title is set in a, wait for it, open world, but this time the emphasis is on sports racing with activities like mountain biking, snowboarding, and more. Races can feature more than 50 players, at least on the Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and PC versions, with locations like Bryce Canyon, Yosemite Valley, and more serving as the backdrop. Riders Republic is currently slated to release on Xbox One, PS4, and Stadia along with current-gen platforms. Project Cars Go For as little information as there is about Project Cars 4, Project Cars Go has a bit more to offer. The mobile racer is developed by Slightly Mad and Gameville, with its first closed beta taking place last October. Along with more than 50 licensed vehicles and multiple tracks, it uses a one-touch mechanic for racing with one hand. Whether it turns out more than the sum of its parts remains to be seen, but it's still something for mobile fans to look forward to. Cartcraft No, you won't be throwing turtle shells in Black Delta's upcoming kart racer, but it does offer its own brand of racing fun. Emphasizing a realistic style of kart racing, Kartcraft promises 20 licensed manufacturers, 10 tracks, a kart builder with over 1,000 parts to choose from, league support, and more when it launches out of early access. It's currently in development for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.